Today, dozens of students left Richland Center High School during the school day after learning a teacher's contract will not be renewed. Now, those students stood in front of the main entrance with signs supporting the teacher. NBC 15's Colt Molesky spent the afternoon in Richland Center talking with the people assembled. John Maria, the Richland School District announced today the contract for high school teacher Mark Chambers will not be renewed. I'm told by the people who were gathered there, they heard the news around 9 this morning. At 9.15, students were out in front of the school speaking out against the decision. Students at Richland Center High School found out Thursday morning the school district will not renew the contract for teacher Mark Chambers. I was angered. It's, it felt like an outrage. All morning long and well past the end of the school day, students gathered in protest of the school board's decision. I came here to support a teacher who's always supported me. He does a spectacular job teaching. It's honestly been sitting out in the cold, but it's something worth fighting for. The news comes following a school board meeting Monday. During the three-hour meeting, junior Amelia Johnsrud said people came to the defense of Chambers. We actually had over 30 people who spoke. They obviously didn't listen to the community. Students tell me they are planning another protest tomorrow around 1. Junior Hannah Zumak says she is speaking out against what she calls the loss of a great teacher. He makes learning fun and makes us all feel like we're on the same level and treats us as equals. In a statement, the school district confirmed Chamber's contract was not renewed and says state law requires a private conference to renew a teacher's contract, which is information the district cannot disclose without a records request. Junior Colton Payne says the little things Chambers did every day will be missed by students. Every day when I come into school, I usually get greeted by a handshake and he asks me how I'm doing every day, which may seem like a little thing, but in the end, it's one of the biggest parts of my day. Now, there were also parents there supporting students and bringing students things like pizza as they protested the events around the history teacher. Our newsroom did make a records request for the information on the private conference the school district mentioned in its statement. In the newsroom, Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News. And we did receive more information from the school late tonight. In a statement, the district says, quote, first and foremost, this has been a difficult situation for our district. Our school board will do all that it can to foster healing and understanding as we move forward. 